Well, you know, Salvin. Um, I'm going to do Ace Frehley's 78 solo album. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's hey, don't of, be sorry. It's one of my favorite records. Um, well, you know, we both know this record. Inside and yeah, out, backwards and time. forwards. Um, listen, I think all the songs on there are great. Every single song. I mean, if Ace, you know, played like that with Kiss, I mean, you know, he didn't write that many songs. Mm -hmm. But if that would have been his Kiss records, man, he would have been writing crazy stuff, you know. But that that album, I just, I don't know, like I said, from the, right from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Just right to the end. Um, you know, solo work is great in every song. You know, is this the album you thought we both were going to have in our list? Yeah, I yeah. thought you would have that on. Nah, here. it's uh, I love the album and it's highly influential and you know it's right here. I mean, the guy's yeah. the guy, you know, for me. But no, it's it's not because that album's bad. It's because of how good I feel about the albums I'm going to list. Yeah. But um, I mean, rip it out, speed back to my baby, right to um, uh, what was the third track on that one um. Uh, Snow blind, you know, it just keeps going and going. Need a love, um, wiped out, wiped out. I mean, just the instrumental, yeah, a fractured mirror, right? And that's a good piece, that fractured mirror, you know, really good piece, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's my favorite record, it's probably my favorite Kiss record, and New uh, York group, really, yeah. I mean, I mean, you could argue if, if, if I'm gonna pick my favorite Kiss record, it'd probably be Ace Freely Solo. I don't know if that still considered kiss no record, it's it technically is a kiss record and a lot of people would say that ace's album is the best kiss record ever made i mean you could certainly say I musically argue. i want to it can that. be um but how much if yeah, say do you have a kiss record start to finish that you like yeah it's really's record you you know, start to finish it's every song is great you hotter than hell start to finish yeah dress to kill start to finish yeah um feel, i don't feel like that on all those records i think they got some weak spots some destroyer mm, nah, I, destroyers, uh, yeah, I, because of great expectations and but the remastered version of destroyer i love mm -hmm. and i don't care what anybody says it sounds way better than the first the one they oh, no, put out. it definitely does you know i'm the not bass I'm, is more up the drums they took like a lot of that reverb out of it yeah they did and the guitars are sitting differently yep. in the mix and you have aces solo the, in there the, the, the key to that record is the bass sound yeah, that bass sounds amazing. They took out that that Bob Ezrin lacquer, that that stuff that was on that album oh, that like, made it like, sound like like, like, like bells. Yeah, they had a lot of coarse sounding. That and, sounds way better with the acoustic and the and the. Um, right. So yeah, no, I I can listen to Kiss start to finish, even even Dynasty, even Unmasked, because it it just puts me. I'm I'm fine with it. You know, do uh, I are is is unmasked as and destroyer is good as like Love Gun and no yeah, no it's not but for me but yeah I, I feel like Ace Frehley if if I had to pick it you know I think he will be number one for me I mean out of this record. out of the four solo albums oh, yeah. he wrecked them of course and even like people like oh Paul's album's great Paul's album's sonically sounds so uh one dimensional yeah. It just sounds like vocals and he's and then a band. It doesn't have any atmosphere to to the no, instruments going up and down and you, stuff like if that. If you listen to Paul's record, I, there's four strong tracks on there. Not knocking tracks. the songs. Yeah, there there's some really strong tracks on there. I mean, if you're a Kiss fan, I guess you're really gonna like it more. But, Can't knock it. It's a great um, album. It is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock that album. I'm just saying sonically, it's it's not. To me, it's not produced well. Right. It just it sounds like a a seventies analog, yeah, like porno produced yeah. record. It's just, you know like the way porno music sounds yeah. like a wan and yeah, production of his. You know what it is? is? It's that shitty L A. Yeah, you can hear it from the drums and um. It's I'm not paying too much money for a producer, yeah. and I'm just well, gonna get when he made that record. He spent a lot of money on it. I mean, well, because yeah, he had to pay people the gene to pay to get people on it, yeah. but they got hack. Who produced Paul Stanley's well, if record? You listen to like listen to. Um, Do you know, who produced it? Oh, I don't know. Um, what's the first song off of Gene's record? Radioactive. You can hear it right off the bat. It's not produced well. No, it just sounds. I don't know. I love the intro. Yeah, 
I'm like, okay, here we go. This is yeah. Gene Simmons. And then it comes in with a, yo, my food. And it's like, what the hell am I listening yeah, to here? Bad. It doesn't sound like it's mixed well, neither. I, yeah, Gene's album just sounds misplaced all over the joint. You know? So, um, but Ace's album, he was smart. He went back to New York City. That's it. He got Eddie Kramer. Yeah. He got a kick-ass drummer. Yeah. He got Wooly, who's a great bass player. When he wasn't playing bass, yeah. Ace played bass yeah, on a lot of some, it. On some of the tracks. And that was it. Yeah. And he went to work. And I, it I, sounds I, like a great, does. killer, yeah, 70s, late great. 70s New York rock album. Yeah. It's, it's great. No, it's written well. I mean, that's it's always going to be one of my favorite records. So it's definitely going to make my list all the time. So Ace Frehley, 